have to get used to now, like putting my camera in these new places because I have a giant new desk and setup in here. So I'm like adjusting. Every morning when I wake up, I say something to the dogs. Usually it's something along the lines of, good morning babies, are you ready to start your day? And I'm realizing maybe I should start saying that to myself more often. Today it feels very charged in like a very positive way and like I'm kind of ready to tackle the day and the things that I wanna do. I don't know, just sharing that thought with you. This week was gonna be an interesting one. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday, I, I didn't vlog at all. And that was because I was doing some work and I was hanging out a lot with my in-laws. So they're off visiting people Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday we are going up to Big Bear. So James, myself, and his parents will be up in Big Bear for a long weekend. They've never seen my family's cabin before, they've never been up in Big Bear, so it'll be kind of fun to like do a Big Bear trip with people who have never been and kind of be tour guides for a couple of days. So I'm looking forward to that. I also just really love being up there, so I think it'll be really nice to just kind of escape for a little bit, especially after coming off of like a couple of months of a lot, a lot of working. So I really just wanna to try to enjoy myself this weekend. That being said, I really need to get some things done this week before we go out of town. A couple of things kind of going on right now. Uh, at the moment, I am finishing up painting the coffins that were the giveaway item for the new online class. And then I'll get back into organizing my studio a bit more, just trying to get everything else put away. I still have like piles of stuff back here, so I need to finish organizing the drawers. Cause then I am preparing myself for holidays in my Etsy shop. So I'm preparing for both a Black Friday sale that I do every year, so I gotta get ready for that. Packaging up some new merchandise that I will be putting out, including the new zine. I'm finally gonna release that. I have new stickers and pins and uh, yeah, just trying to get all that stuff packaged up and out. So uh, later this week, my mom is actually gonna be coming over and helping me because I am, I have reached a point uh, in my business that I need help, both just physically packing things and preparing packaging and just, I need I need help. I, I'm like, I'm experiencing some growing pains, so I, I, I just really need it. So thankfully my mom is gonna come help and she is gonna kind of be like my second in command in kind of helping me run my Etsy shop. James is also gonna be helping me this week because James is actually officially like in between shows at the moment, so he is actually gonna be home all all this week and probably for the next couple of weeks, which will be interesting. So he is gonna be working for Bai Bun, basically. And I have a new scanner arriving today to scan in a bunch of new artwork and that's gonna be, I'm putting that on James. So James is gonna be scanning new artwork in and hopefully I will try to get a new postcard set built because I have not created a postcard set or a second mini print set for 2017. So try to get that done this week. James is really gonna be heading that project and then getting all that stuff ordered and then again, once that arrives, packing all that stuff up as well. A lot of, even though it sounds like I have a lot of stuff going on, I'm definitely way less stressed than what I have been. And I think having like some rearranging and organizing happening in my studio like just makes me feel happy and feeling like I am getting things done is really nice. Yeah, I feel like this week is gonna be a really nice productive week. While I'm here, there's a new Art Snacks box breakdown video. Check that out, I'll put a link below. And yeah, I need to get, I need to get paint in some coffins here. Oh, uh, look, step one just says throw the scanner in the trash. You see this? Look at this. Step one, throw the scanner in the trash. So it's been several hours later. Um, James and I scanned a whole bunch of artwork. So like all of my so basically all of these little tabs that I had put into my journal and my sketchbook, we scanned everything, even some of this stuff up here. Spent a lot of time scanning artwork, which is a very time consuming process because I don't scan stuff as I make it. We do it all in kind of just big batches. And I got a new scanner, which is over there. So that was good because my other one was busted. So that was a lot to get that done. And then tonight we'll probably just be um, designing um, the postcards and prints. And then I'm working on something else that I don't want to say quite yet, but I think will be cool if I can make it happen. So we'll see about that. I'm tidying up a little bit in my studio right now. I still have such a long ways to go in terms of organizing things and I'll definitely keep you guys posted but what I want to do right now is unbox a huge amazing package that I got with all of you so let me get that real quick Ugh. Ugh. there we go okay all right so 
so we have this giant box here. It is huge and full of Jane Davenport art supplies. It is crazy. So Jane contacted me on Instagram um, a little bit ago and had asked me for my address because she wanted to send me some goodies. Um, I of course was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I gave her my address and then American Crafts is who, that's who does her product line, sent me this box and I was so not expecting to receive this much stuff. Like I was really surprised and like shocked with how much stuff that they sent. So thank you in advance to Jane if you watch my vlogs. Thank you so much for everything. I cannot wait to play with all of this stuff. So I'm gonna unbox everything with you guys. Obviously to reiterate, this is not sponsored at all. This was gifted to me. So amazing, so generous. So thank you Jane and American Crafts for hooking me up with all this amazing stuff. So I'm gonna unbox everything with you guys right now. And then probably, then probably once my studio is set up, I will experiment with things here and there and I will definitely feature stuff on the vlog as I experiment and play around with stuff. And there's a lot of stuff. So let's just dive into this thing. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, uh, first up we've got some acrylic paint sets. They're both the matte acrylic paint sets. One is the um, the really nice colorful one with the pinks. Is this like a dark blue purple? I don't know, it looks really pretty though. So we got those gorgeous acrylic paints. And then we've kind of got like the skin tone set. The skin tone, cannot wait to play with those. And I'm, I'm itching to get all this stuff out of the packaging and play with it, so I, that's why I wanna unbox it. We've got the Gesso, Gesso and Matte Medium two pack, so we'll have to play with that. Um, we have the a pack of the Paint Over pens. This is the pack of the Paint Over pens, which I actually really love these. Um, I use these pretty frequently in my sketchbook and sometimes in my art journal as well. These really do write on a lot of stuff. They're super opaque and I really love these. So this is a personal favorite of mine. Excited for those. A set of the Aqua Pastels. So these are the watercolor crayons. I've never played with these, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. And it looks like there's a lot in here. There's 12, so there's 12 crayons in this little pack. We've got the little uh, confetti tissue pack and the little pouch. Gotta love, gotta love that confetti stuff. Holy cannoli, a lot of mermaid markers. Okay, so if you guys have been watching my vlog for a while, then you would have seen the episode where I tracked down Jane Davenport's mermaid markers because that was the, the supply that excited me most when her line first came out. So I like stalked my Michaels and went there like on the day that they came out and got a set and then I kind of reviewed them a little bit in the vlog and played around with them and I really like them. They're one of my favorite supplies to use. I use them in a lot of different ways. So this is the original set of mermaid markers so there's 12 in here and they're basically if you're unfamiliar with what they are they're like they're water brushes pretty much but it has watercolor pigment already in it ready to go um, the colors are really vibrant you can water them down you can apply them as is they make great backgrounds they're really fun in sketchbooks I use them a lot in my sketchbook I use them in my planner as like highlighters sometimes yeah I really love these and yeah, totally worth the purchase when I first got these, but now I have another set. So there's a, there's a few mermaid marker sets in here, so I'm gonna show them all, all to you at once. So this was the original 12 pack. Then we've got, oh boy, oh boy, okay. And then we've got, these are the new ones, and I'm really freaking excited about these. Okay, the first one is the Shipwrecked set. So it looks like it's different, a different set of colors. It's a six pack and it looks like there's a black in here, which is so funny because I think that was one of the, the things I had said was I liked them so much, I wish that there was a black one. And it looks like there's a gray in this one too. So I'm really excited. S even just swatch these and see what they look like. Oh yeah, these colors look cool. Okay, so we've got like, We've got like a shark's eye sort of black color. We've got a stormy seas gray color. This really cool like purpley pinky sort of color. Another kind of red, a dark blue and a green. So these are all new shades. So that's that that pack. I need to just swatch and play with all this stuff. Then the other two are new 
and they're sparkly. So this one is, this is the Shimmering Sky set and you can see the packaging is a little different. It has that like glitter sort of uh, detail to it. So there's four in this one and it looks like it's like two pinks and then like two kind of blues. So that's nice, you get two warms and two cools. And then the other shimmery one is Celestial Sky, which also looks like it has a black in it. It's black, gold, silver, and a white. Kind of like classic metallic color combos there. Really excited for these new ones. So those are the, these are the newest ones of the mermaid markers. Wow, oh my God. That is just crazy. Oh my God, okay. So those are the mermaid markers. Really excited about that. They also look really cool when you store them because it's you want to store those upright and I have like really cool little jars and stuff that I put them in. It's really fun. Then we have, we have two watercolor sets. So we have the neutral set and then the glitz C set. So little watercolor palettes. I really love the packaging on this, how they have kind of the colors on the sides of the boxes. It also feels heavy, like these actually have some weight to them. So I'm curious to try these out too. And just, I like the size of the pans as well, but I've never used these. I've never used these watercolor sets, so that will be really fun to play with. What else do I have? Oh, a little travel brush. That's cool. So, okay, I saw this on her live stream. It's like a little travel brush. This looks cool though. It's a Collapsible brush, perfect for fine detail. Hmm. Then we have, we've got the paper pad. So there's 48, 48 sheets in there, all the different paper pads for collaging or your planner or whatever. I like these ones where they just have like swatches of stuff. That's kind of cool. Even just these like inky sort of backgrounds. Ooh, look at that blue and purple. So we got that. We've got this thingy, which I don't even know. Oh, it's a splat mat. Oh, you can use as an ink palette. That's cool. I'm not sure if this was part of the original or if this is new, but it looks really cool and it's got a cute little scalloped edge to it. Kirill. Okay, we're down to the last two items in here now. This one looks like it's a planner kit. Oh my god. Holy moly, this is literally a giant planner set. So it's got everything, yeah, planner kit, it's got everything in it. So it has the planner, little sticker stickies, little cute mini sticker thingies, and little clips, and all sorts of stuff. Wow. This is crazy. Wow, I'll have to open this up and, and flip through and see. But I, the, the cover of the planner is cool. It's like, um, it's a color wheel. So I'll have to open that up and look at that in more detail. Very cool. So much attention to detail with everything. Okay, and then we've got this guy in bubble wrap, which I think is like a storage container of some sort. They really bubble wrap this really good. Ooh! Wow. Okay. Ugh. I cannot get this off to save my life. Well. Oh my god. Okay, it's definitely ceramic. Ooh, the texture feels weird. I think it's something you can paint. Yeah, it's like a girl's head. Okay, so it's like a ceramic head that you can put stuff into. It's a little storage container. I definitely want to paint her scary of some sort, like bones on her face or something. That might be kind of cool. And the inside has like a glaze on it, so it's uh, ready to go for supplies. So wow, there you have it. That is the giant uh, Jane Davenport haul, an epic, epic haul. Uh, thanks again, Jane, for sending me everything. This was just like such a treat to receive. I really, really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to play around with all this stuff. So excited. Let me know if there's like one particular thing you want me to see kind of play around with or maybe review on the vlog here um, and I can try to make that happen. So just let me know in the comment section below. Now I just want to stop working and go make art. <laughs> okay, back to work.